Hello everyone, it's me Woke here, back with some more Dokkan. Uh, we're just gonna grind out the Gohan level, because I wanted to have- I had something specific I wanted to talk about. And I think it- you may as well play Dokkan while I do it, right? That's all that matters. Um, so... The thing I want to talk about is specifically what is Kid Goku going to turn into? Because the current early idea is that, um... The early idea was that everyone kind of expected it, that this would be the LR Master Roshi and Krillin, and it makes sense <coughs> because of, you know, it's Kid Goku, Krillin is on the second one, so who's next? Obviously it's Master Roshi. The thing is, is that if you follow the movie posters, which they have been for every single stage after um, the SR, so SSR and TUR have been the first movie. Curse of the Blood Diamonds, and the second one, which I can't remember, Sleeping Something, um, it's kind of followed, it's, it's followed that for the most part, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, um, and you know who's on the cover of that one? It's a Rayleigh, really. so there is now a small chance, and I say small, because if I say it's a big chance, I'll just have my heart broken that Areli would be, it would be good, Kid Goku and Areli, and the reason why I think it's, it has to be someone unrelated to uh, the Goku family, because he does not have the lineage of Goku, so that means that whoever he's sharing the card with is someone outside his family, so again, if it's following the movie logic, it is Areli, and if you follow what just makes sense, it's Master Roshi. The only reason I could see it not being Master Roshi is that, um, um, so, um, I mean, I don't really need it. yeah, whatever, it's fine. I want him to transform, but it's not actually, the actually, you know what, yeah, 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 right there, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry about that, so, if Kid Goku ends up being a Kid Goku and a Rally unit, I think that means that. And if, like some people think, part two is going to be him awakening, that means that part two was actually just going to be an Aureli event again. In, I just don't see. That's the part of the thing that makes me go like, I don't think it's going to be. I don't think his awakening is going to be related to part two, because they can't make it Doctor Slump again, because the last time they did that. Actually, I don't know from Jap the Japanese side. Maybe the Japanese were, like, super happy about it, but... For everyone else, it was a real, like, who the hell is this? And that's why it would kind of made me fall in love with her, because they made her so stupid strong at that time. Uh, but I don't know, I would love it if she came back. So that was kind of the idea. The only person I've ever seen actually look, say that this is a possibility is, um... Jin Ginta? Jinta. And... I don't know. I kind of want to believe him. I really do. This isn't something I thought of altogether because I can, I knew she was in Mystical Adventure. I love Mystical Adventure. The problem is, is that when I think of Mystical Adventure, I remember um, Kid Goku and like Emperor Chiaotzu and Chiaotzu's loving doll. I remember stuff like that, and I remember she was in it. I just don't remember if she was a big part of it. But I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the current thing. If it happens, I'll be really happy. If it doesn't happen, he'll be fine. Because I would want Roshi and Kid Goku, to be honest. <clears throat> the problem is, is that whoever gets it is going to be a very supportive, like... There's, like, no fight in the fact that, um... They're a support unit. Like, that's the reason why he's on this team, is because he is a support unit for... Super Saiyan 4 Goku, with the... Uh, changing any random thing into Rainbow Warps to help make everyone uh, launch their super. So that would be kind of a bummer, but I don't know, if they get an active skill and everything, and sneak out cannon, it'd be really cool, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. God damn, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku fucking hit hard. <laughs> you kind of forget. Sorry, excuse me, I've been getting a weird never-ending cold for a while now. Yeah, let's go here. Strike me off. Strike 
No. Okay. Yeah, I can beat this, no problem. So. Hmm. Oh no. Tell me what you think. I think a lot of people are thinking it's Kid, Goku, and Roshi, and maybe Krillin. But I think because Krillin's name isn't on it, that's the reason why. They're gonna save Roshi. Kid, Goku, and Krillin for a later card. That's the way I'm currently feeling. But, I don't know. You could go, you could go many different directions. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait for the Super Saiyan 4 Flux to leave. <coughs> uh, not to say that they're bad. They're actually very good units. But if there's an off chance that Aurelia is coming back, I need to, I need to save. I need to save specifically for her. That's the other thing is that if it's her, other than me, who the fuck is pulling on that banner? Like, oh, <laughs> oops, I accidentally activated that. That's fun. Whatever, it's fun. Launch your shit. Oh, he's dead. Well, good job, Goku. You have ended the video. As I expected. Huh? Alright then. <clears throat> That's the current length. Of th that's my current thinking on it. I'll keep waiting and see what happens next in Dokkan. It's a weird thing to be on, to suddenly like, kind of care what comes next in Dokkan. But I guess I don't really actually care, because I only really care if it's a rally. Anyway, you guys have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time.